Hello, this is a backslider rocket. When they're designed properly, they will uh, reach aperture, slide back a little bit, level off horizontal, and float down. This test is going to show you if your rocket actually does that. So this is what you're going to look for. We're going to take it and swing it from this string here. We're going to bring it up to this string, and as it swings down through the arc, you're going to watch this. The air pressure, first of all, we're going to take, take it, balance it from the center of gravity. All the forces operate around the center of gravity here. Okay? So as it moves through the air, if it's designed properly, meaning the center lateral pressure is in the fore end of it, okay, up here, the air pressure is going to build up over here and rotate it. It's going to push against the top end of the rocket and rotate it around the center of gravity. Then it will be moving through the air at an angle. Instead of moving broadside, it's going to move at an angle, and it will deflect itself and slide to its aft end. So first, it's going to swing broadside. The air pressure is going to hit the center of lateral pressure, move it over this way, angle it, and it'll slide to the right. To illustrate what's going to happen is this. Okay, that string is the starting point. This streamer is the end point. We have a wrench here. Okay, this wrench doesn't slide. It's going to go straight, straight line. I'm going to release it here, 3, 2, 1. Boom, it hits the streamer. Now, a backsliding rocket is not going to do that. It's going to slide to the right side. So let's hook it up. Here we go. There we go. Once again, from the center of gravity, properly balanced. We're going to hold it broadside, bring it up to this line. All right. There we go. And release it, 3, 2, 1. There it is. It slides to the right. We'll do that one more time. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Slides to the right. Okay? Now, different wrench, different uh, rockets have different sizes and shapes. And depending upon your location of the center lateral pressure in relation to the center of gravity, it may be a little different. Here's a much lighter rocket. The other nose cone weighed three ounces. This is two ounces. It's made out of styrofoam board. Okay, there's no weights on this. You can see this one fly. I've got a video showing it being launched. This is a backslider also. So here we go. Three, two, three, three, two, one, zero. Slides to the right. Okay. Now, let's find a rocket that's not a backslider. Here's an old-fashioned head basher. Goes over apogee, noses down, and crashes. Once again, hanging from the center of gravity. All tests are done from the center of gravity because the forces act around the center of gravity. On an object that's free falling or in flight, your forces will act around the center of gravity. It will push it this way or this way. Okay? So, let's see what happens here. It's not going to backslide. It's probably going to hit the, hit the streamer if it can go that far. Three, two, one. There it goes. Almost right to the stream. A little bit to the left, indicating it will probably nosedive, which it does. Okay, so this test, this test shows you if your rocket is going to backslide. Uh, by August 2017, I'll post another video which shows you how to do a similar test and precisely locate the center of lateral pressure, because that's what you need to know. If you put the center of lateral pressure on the fore end, on this side of the center of gravity, okay, it'll backslide. If you got the center lateral pressure on the aft end, meaning the center of gravity is forward, it's going to go towards the center of gravity and crash. So, give this a try. All you need is a piece of string. And uh, give me a note. Send me a note on how well you like that. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and have fun.